The issue of connectivity of reefs is, is a critical one and one we don't have a good handle on. Um, the amazing thing to me was that in 98, in many reefs, we, we lost 80 or 90 percent of the corals and for two years there was almost no recruitment of corals, no recovery at all and then suddenly two years later there was a large recruitment event of some species and uh, these species have been completely absent for two years and they're usually very common. Now they came from somewhere um, so there were reefs that survived the bleaching event. Uh, the corals were stressed, they couldn't reproduce for a year maybe but the following year they were able to reproduce and their offspring are what has reseeded the reefs in Kenya. Now, where are those reefs, the refugia? We haven't really identified them yet. They might be deeper down, they might be on some islands that we haven't looked at. Um, we don't know how far away they are, but it's clear that the connectivity and the, the connection between those reefs and the heavily impacted ones is critical for recovery of the impacted ones. Um, the issue of coral recruitment um, to coral reefs that have been really badly impacted by bleaching is is, a, is one of our main problems and big question marks. It's related to the connectivity, it's re related to how healthy the reef is once the corals land on the existing reef. We've seen the whole gamut from no recruitment at all in five years on some reefs that used to be very healthy to in some parts of the world massive recruitment within one or two years and very fast recovery, at least of a lot of small corals. It takes many years to get the big corals back. Um, so what we know about recruitment is you have to have a source population. If you don't have a source population, you don't get young from anywhere. Uh, they have to be the right distance away and connected by currents to the reefs that are heavily impacted. And we know that the reef that they land on has to be healthy and has to um, be a supportive environment for the young corals to grow. Um, many of our management responses are directed towards making the, um, the recipient reefs healthy so that young corals can grow on and more and more we need to address the issue of protecting the source reefs as well, finding where they are, finding the resilient reefs and working out what their spatial relationship to impacted reefs needs to be so that the, the coral recruits can get to where they need to go.